Hello folks, Scott here with my 10 cards, one kit video featuring the Love From Lizzie August 2020 card kit. These are my 10 cards. I do always take those five sheets of cardstock Lizzie supplies in our kit and cut them down, make them into card bases. I swear when I'm having a hard time coming up with a card, sometimes the colors of the card base will inspire a card from me. Lizzie is calling this the Enjoy the Little Things card kit, and we're going to start off with a lilac card base. We've got Just Be You, because when you stop and look around, this life is pretty amazing from Dr. Seuss. I would never turn down a great Dr. Seuss quote. This is a fun card. On one of our pattern paper sheets, it looked like a small cut-apart sheet, but when I looked closely, it was like actually a couple of great front panels, a couple of great collage pieces that I split down the center. I cut the top piece off of this one. I did stamp this sentiment using the deep purple archival ink and emboss that with some clear embossing powder. So it's a little shine to that sentiment. I stamped that on some vellum, wrapped that around our cut apart piece and adhered it to the back. I then glued that down to a thin dark purple mat. I took some of that flower stripe pattern paper and cut it to, to two and a quarter inches wide, added the dark purple mat behind that. I glued that down to my lilac card base and then mounted my collage panel on top of that with some foam tape. Finally, I took some Nouveau Drops. This is the Plum Pudding Nouveau Drops. I believe we got those in the Love From Lizzie December 2018 kit. Went perfectly with this card. I think that dark purple really kind of helps that lilac card stock along. Loving this life. Just be you, because when you stop and look around, this life is pretty amazing. Amen, that's our first card. I really like that little collage piece when taken as a whole collage. Now, one side of our cut-apart sheet had all of these, like, journaling cards. I thought I could use one of those and a sentiment and our alpha dies to make this next card. This is on a gray card base, and we've got... For the record, you are a one of a kind. <laughs> this is that cut apart journaling square from our cut apart sheet. I just cut that out, added that to a thin purple mat again. I cut out this lilac pattern paper and put a thin dark purple mat behind that. I die cut the U and the R from the center of our pattern paper and the center of our last mat and glued those two together with a little offset for a little little offset shadow. Then I glued all of those together down to my gray card base. I ran a couple of strips of that gray satin ribbon along the top and bottom, tied a little gray bow for our little hole in our tag here. I stamped the sentiment using the Hero Hues Grape Slush Reactive Ink and embossed that with some clear embossing powder for a little shine on that. I attached our two letters up with a little bit of foam tape behind them, just a little more dimension. I've got three of the little mini heart peel-offs on this card, too. For the record, you are one of a kind. Really nice card. I think that gray really softens all of that lilac down very nicely. You are one of a kind. Thank heavens. <laughs> so you probably know that one of my goals with these 10 cards is to use every stamp in our stamp set. So there are lots of sentiments in this stamp set. Let's just keep moving forward and try to get through all of these sentiments. This is on the pale blue card base, and we've got... Enjoy the little things. There's the namesake of this kit. Enjoy the little things. Enjoying the fresh air. Bicycle. Let's ride. <laughs> this is a fun card. I took a piece of that blue grid pattern paper and I stamped our background builder stamp on that using Versamark ink and then I embossed that using the Love from Lizzie Warm Navy embossing powder. Really nice embossing powder really makes those little diamonds shine quite nicely. 
it was very easy to stamp that background builder stamp two times, easy to line it up. Once that was all embossed, I matted that on a piece of dark blue cardstock and then glued that down to my pale blue card base. I did cut another piece of that blue grid pattern paper exactly the same as this banner from our ephemera piece. So they both have those ragged edges. I did stamp the sentiment on that and emboss that with the warm navy embossing powder. Nice shine to that. Matches our background triangles very nicely. I glued those two banners together and then glued them directly down to our card front. These are all ephemera pieces from our kit. I did add a little signpost using that same dark blue cardstock to this let ride triangle and then I glued all three of these ephemera pieces to our card front using some foam tape. Lastly, I added this little hooray file folder tab on the side over here. It sticks out just a little bit beyond the edge of the card, but not so far that it won't fit inside of an envelope. Enjoy the little things. I'm enjoying the fresh air. Let's ride. A uh, nice blue card. <laughs> Moving on through our sentiments, our next card is on the deep green card base, and we've got live in the moment with little moments, this is my favorite moment, savor this moment, little moments, and lovely little moments. <laughs> this card makes me giggle. I die cut this floral pattern paper with a lawn fawn stitched rectangle die. I added that to a thin dark green mat and then glued that down to our deep green card base. I stamped this sentiment on a scrap of white cardstock and embossed that with the Emerald City Love from Lizzie embossing powder. Emerald City, I love that embossing powder. Live in the moment, I trimmed that banner piece down to about 5 eighths inches wide and added thin dark green mat around that as well. I glued that down to my card front and then I added all of these pieces with foam tape. These three are from our ephemera pack. This piece is one of our puffy stickers and this lovely little moments piece here is actually from the top part of this pattern paper that I trimmed away. I cut that out. Another moment piece for this card. These are three of our little mini heart peel offs right there. Live in the moment. Savor this moment. Little moments. Little moments. This is my favorite moment. Lovely little moments. All of our moments are gathered here. <laughs> you have no choice but to live in the moment. <laughs> okay, this card is dedicated to Lizzie. This is on one of our pale blue card bases. Another sentiment from our stamp set, and we have, hello there, sweetie. <laughs> This is cut using the alpha dies from this kit. I thought it'd be fun to try and do partial die cutting where you leave the bottom edge of the letter uncut along a thin strip of cardstock and create a word out of that. That came out really nicely. I'm very pleased with that. There's a lot of dies out there that have words on top of lines like that, but it was great fun to try and do that on my own. I actually sent a note to Lizzie asking how to spell sweetie because when I was practicing I thought a Y of course would be much easier than an IE but you know they basically take up just about the same amount of space there. Lizzie told me it's IE though. <laughs> I cut another piece of that flower stripe pattern paper. This is three and a quarter inches by five and a half inches. I glued that down to our pale blue card base. Now, I found this little glitter paper in my stash. This is the Die Cuts with a View cardstock stash, the Glitzy Glitter. I actually thought that that pink glitter was really good match for the bakery roof on this little ephemera piece. So that's what I cut all of our letters out of. I cut a couple extra strips out of that glitter paper and glued it to the top and bottom of our pattern paper there. I partially die cut this whole sentiment and glued that down to our card front. I stamped the hello there sentiment using the aged mahogany distress oxide ink and then of course embossed that with some clear embossing powder. Keep that shine going on. I added our bakery ephemera piece with some foam tape. I cut a little glitter mat for that sun puffy sticker. Stuck the two of those together and peeking out from behind the roof 
roof of our bake shop. Hello there, sweetie. Three little sequins from our sequin mix. Add a nice little touch of sparkle. This is nice and sparkly, nice and shiny. I think sweetie completes that sentiment perfectly. Hello there, sweetie. This one's for you, Lizzie. <laughs> Now, I really wanted to use some of these great ovals from the back of our cut-apart paper. So for our next card on the gray card base, we've got Make the Most of Today. Love, Fun, and Seeker of Everyday Magic. I thought those three went quite well together. All of the masks and accents on this card are all done with that Lunar Rocket Shimmer Powder. I did take a piece of watercolor paper and I colored that whole thing up with that Lunar Rocket. Nice and shiny. Some extra colors in there. There's a little bit of red, a little bit of blue, a little bit of purple. I cut all of the mats using that Lunar Rocket Shimmer Powder. So I stamped our sentiment directly on our gray card base. I stamped that with Versamark ink and embossed that with the Love From Lizzie Silver Dollar Embossing Powder, real nice silver embossing powder. I fussy cut the fun and the love ovals from our cut apart paper, glued those down to mats made from that shimmer powder, and I cut a mat for this ephemera magic piece and attach those two pieces together. The love and fun are mounted with foam tape. The magic is mounted with two pieces of foam tape. Seeker of everyday magic. I love that. Make the most of every day. Whose day doesn't need some love and some fun? and a little bit of magic. <laughs> a few sequins for this card down by the sentiment and by our magic here. Finishes this card nicely. This is that matching background paper. I did cut a couple of strips of that shimmer watercolor paper to line the top and bottom of that. Love, fun, magic. Make the most of today. Okay, I was having a hard time finding any puns that would work with this kit, but I think this is really a nice giggle and kind of a nice joke on our white card base. We've got happiness blooms from within with that great flower shop and all of these flowers blooming out of that flower shop. <laughs> happiness blooms from within. I did cut a piece of cardstock to about four and one eighth by five and three eighths and I outlined our little ephemera flower shop here in the center and then I went to town stamping all of these flowers and foliage from our stamp set. Now I basically used this Hero Arts Ombre stamp pad. This is actually from the December 2019 kit. I used that for all of the green. I actually used this purple for our sentiment here. Happiness blooms from within. I did grab a bunch of my other Hero Arts ink cubes for the flowers and the orange and the purple and the pink and the red. I used just about every stamp in our stamp set for this, but I didn't use the little heart branch and I didn't use the little hearts on this. So I've got some more stamping to do. I cut a thin strip of my dark purple cardstock and glued that to this panel to anchor my shop on. Once I was finished with all of the stamping, I attached our shop with some foam tape right in front of that. This makes me giggle. Happiness blooms from within. When I unboxed this kit, I mentioned that I thought these stamps would be good for a wreath. Well, how about a square wreath? Just bursting at the seams out of your favorite flower shop. Finally, I attach that card panel down to a white card base. Happiness blooms from within this flower shop, apparently. <laughs> okay, that covers all seven sentiments in our stamp set. Let's play a little bit with a wreath builder and see what wreaths we can build. On the deep green card base, we've got a miss you card. I tell you, it's hard these days to get through a card kit without doing at least one miss you card. I miss so many people. There are so many people that I haven't seen since March. And we talk and we FaceTime, but it's not the same thing as saying hi and giving somebody a hug. But I miss you. 
my furniture misses your butt. <laughs> now, I stamped this wreath, again using my Hero Arts ombre stamp pad, and I started with that heart branch and then added the two smaller hearts on top of that branch heart to try and make those more into flowers. I thought that worked pretty good, and I go on stamping this wreath, and before I know it, I filled the entire wreath in. <laughs> that doesn't work particularly well for a wreath but it works very well as a background for our little empty armchair. I die cut our stamped piece and this pattern paper mat and a dark green mat using my Hero Arts nesting infinity dies, my circle infinity dies. I used our alpha dies to die cut our letters here from that same pattern paper, also from the dark green cardstock. I layered those together a little off to give it a little offset shadow. I glued everything down to my card base and then added the letters to the top and bottom. I then grabbed those green glitter peel-offs from Love From Lizzie and I took the thinnest one and wrapped it around the circle there. I took a straight one and added it to the left side here. A little sparkle on this card. Those thin little pinstripe peel-offs will take a curve fairly nicely. You will have to burnish them down very tightly, maybe add a touch of glue to the beginning and end, but those will take a corner there. Miss you with an empty armchair and a decent wreath, <laughs> even if something is in the center of it. <laughs> okay, this is the Enjoy the Little Things card kit, so I figured I could get away with using that sentiment one more time on our other lilac card base. We've got Enjoy the Little Things with all those little things. <laughs> I stamped this sentiment on a scrap of white cardstock and embossed that with some clear embossing powder. That stamped in Seedless Preserves Distress Oxide ink. I thought that worked very well. I think I used almost all of my purples on this card kit. I trimmed this sentiment to about five eighths of an inch tall and cut three more pieces of cardstock the same size, glued those all together for a nice chipboard type sentiment. I die cut this piece of pattern paper with a lawn fawn stitched rectangle die, matted it on a little thin white mat, glued that down to our lilac card base. I glued our sentiment directly down to the card front. I cut four white circles from white cardstock with one of my Hero Arts Infinity Circle dies, glued those all together, glued those to the top of our card, and then added all of our little pieces from our puffy sticker sheet. I really like the fact that that center piece, the smallest piece of all, is like a home button. Home, I wanna go home. <laughs> Enjoy the little things, home, and lots of little things. <laughs> this makes me giggle too. <laughs> okay, let's try a wreath one more time on our last white card base. We've got a let's hang out. Boy, that's as close to a pun as I can possibly get. Let's hang out with a wreath. <laughs> a real wreath there. Again, I stamped that wreath using my Hero Arts ombre stamp pad, a number of other Hero Arts inks. Here's our big hearts. I got those big hearts in there and our little bitty rose pieces in there. I, of course, used my homemade wreath builder template to get this going. I really like that wreath. It came out very nicely. I stamped the dotted hearts border stamp from our add-on stamp set across the bottom of our card panel here using, this is the Cotton Candy Hero Arts Ink Cube. I stamped that across the bottom, die cut that piece down to four inches by five and a quarter, matted that on a piece of dark blue cardstock, glued that down to our white card base. I added a bunch of sequins from our sequin mix to fill out this wreath and tied a little double bow for the top of our wreath. This sentiment and this heart are from the ephemera pack. Those are both attached with some foam squares, a little bit of sparkle pen on our hearts, and a really fun Let's hang out. That's as close to a pun as I could get this month. <laughs> So that's my 10 cards featuring the Love from Lizzie August 2020 card kit. Enjoy the little things. 
I don't know if you noticed or not, but I actually didn't use any black on any of these cards. Now, I didn't start out trying to avoid black, but after I got through the first few cards or so, I was like, I bet you I could make all of these cards without any black. So that was one of my driving goals when putting these 10 cards together was see if I can make 10 cards without any black whatsoever. It worked. I don't think you miss it, especially when you've got like dark blue and dark green, dark purple. Those substitute for black quite nicely. This kit proved to be much more fun for me than I initially thought it was. I had a great time coming up with these 10 different cards. Well, there's a great variety of sentiments here and a nice variety of designs. No real puns this month, but we've got a couple of giggles here and there, I think. I do love those alpha dies and those botanical stamps will come in very useful. Love this happiness blooms from within cards. I think that one really floats my boat this month. <laughs> I did use every stamp in this stamp set. Woohoo! Including all of those little botanicals. I did use our little background builder stamp. And I did use one of our border stamps from our add-on stamp set. I used eight of our 16 pattern papers. So I still have eight pattern papers that are whole. I'm surprised I made it through eight of these. I did use some of the cut aparts, both this side and the other side. And I used a few of our mini heart peel offs that came in the kit as well. I actually used more puffy stickers than I ever thought I would. <laughs> I did use a good amount of everything in our embellishment bag. I used some of that lunar rocket. I did use our dies and some sequins. I did use a little bit of the ribbon and I used actually quite a bit of the ephemera pieces. Surprised even me. Of course, all of these extras will find loving homes in my stash. This kit has sold out already. Lizzie's kits usually do sell out, some faster than others. If you want to join in on the Love from Lizzie Fund, I would suggest becoming a subscriber. Almost all of her kits sell out, and I tell you, her kits are some of the most unique and value-packed kits on the market these days. If you do go shopping at Love from Lizzie, please use my links in the description down below. It helps this channel so very, very much and is always greatly appreciated. Thank you so much for sharing your time with me here. I know we're all very busy these days, but I am overjoyed that you choose to spend some time with me. I hope you like these cards. I had a great time with these. Please let me know which ones are your favorite. Please remember to like me, list me, pin me, post me, share me with all of your friends. Don't forget your mask and keep washing those hands. And as always, I wish you and yours continued health, patience, and happy crafting. If you'd like more detailed information, better pictures, and product links, please visit my website at cardcutups.com. Mm -hmm.